Propagating plants in the aquaponics system is extremely easy. Let me show you how I do it. These are my favorite tomatoes and this tomato plant is going on two years old. So all the tomatoes on the plant is growing near the new shoots at the end. All the shoots uh, or the lower part of the tomato plant doesn't have blossoms. So what I do is uh, take cuttings and start the cuttings. Here you can see how tight all this is going. And I'm going to snip these out, trim some of the lower branches off or lower leaves off. After I make the cuttings and I trim the ends off, then I stick them in a cluster inside the floating bed. So here's some that I put in last week. And you can see here, roots are already taken off pretty good on those. And those are ready to plant. Here's some more. These could go into small pots. And even other than just the tomatoes, here is basil. And this is about a week. And you can see here, the roots just starting to come out on that one. This one's getting a good cluster. This could even be cut off and started a new plant right here. So these could be trimmed and planted also. Okay, this has only been in a couple days. You can see the roots starting to push out. And about one to two weeks. That's all it takes to root tomatoes and you can have mature plants that fruit right away. Right here is a cutting and you can see right here it's taken off real well. That was a short plant and uh, it has tomatoes. Here are some of my plants that I started from cuttings. And I'll just sell these on the roadside. Here's some more. These are tomatoes that uh, I started from cuttings and I didn't remove them out of the raft or the uh, floating raft beds and I lost control of these. So they could be trimmed and new cuttings started from these. And of course there's a lot of other things you can root right there and do flowers, whatever. Very doable. Easiest way to propagate uh, new plants. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.